This is my one year dreadlock video. I'm behind per usual. Uh, I'm actually almost at 13 months now technically in a couple days. Um, so I'm really excited that I made it to a year. This is usually how I have my hair up most of the time. So I'll go ahead and take it down and So here they are, my one-year-old locks. They turned a year on December 5th. And I love them so much. So I have this front part combed out. Oh, I like it. Still pretty messy, but you could definitely feel the difference and like see the difference from when I first started them. I'm just excited to see um, what this next year is gonna bring for them. I initially um, installed them using the twist and rip method uh, no maintenance at all whatsoever. Um, I just let them be and watching them mature and just do the thing. So that's what I've been doing. And I did mention that I was going to start decorating them once I hit a year, which I'm still super excited to do. Um, I had a bead in here. It might have, I might have taken it out when I showered. I just washed my hair last night yeah I think I took it out but I had one wooden bead in here before um, but I want to get more like just fun stuff I want to get some wraps and whatnot so I can start wrapping them and I just want to put some color in there so that's my plan it's freezing out so probably not anytime extremely soon <laughs> but next time I go to the store I'm definitely gonna pick up some stuff. I have lots of beads, but not any beads that I would put in my hair. I want to put things that are going to be somewhat meaningful to me. Still lots of shrinkage. I guess mine are pretty long for like being shrunken up, what I keep hearing, but to me it's this is not too long. So we'll see if they continue to shrink. Um, this year or if they're gonna start kind of getting longer or what's gonna happen I'm excited to see what they're gonna be doing you just feel how like solid they are now it's great you know when you first install them it's like they're very thin and you could squeeze them and you can you feel your fingers through them. I cannot feel anymore. I can't. They're, they're nice and thick now, which is sweet. Loving them, loving them, loving them. So, yep, that is one year of dreadlocks for me. Turn around so we can see the back. So that's my hair and it's going really well and I have no desire to get rid of them or anything. I've actually been thinking recently um, because I did see Elise Buke, she combed out her four-year-old dreadlocks and I was extremely surprised, um, but I like her either way. Um, but I was just thinking to myself, like, I wonder how long I am going to keep mine when I'm gonna feel that urge or need to 
brush them out or cut them or, or whatever I decide to do next after this. But I'm hoping, I, I personally feel like I'm going to be keeping them for a while. I was just thinking last night too, like how amazing and beautiful they'll be after like 10 years. And I'm only 24, so having them in 10 years, I'll be 33, because technically I, they're a year old now. So I'll be 33 when they're 10 years old if I do keep them for that long, which I really hope that I do. I'm pretty sure I will, but we'll see. I don't think I have the, the drive to actually get rid of them. I love them way too much that I think they're gonna be around for a while. And I'm really excited about it. I'm just excited that I finally took the leap and just plunged and decided to do it. Um, Cause as I mentioned before that I've wanted to have locks for quite some time. I had it on my bucket list and everything. I've had a few sets, ended up combing them out for stupid reasons. And ever since I've installed them after this having them a full year um i love them i love them and they make me feel good and confident there's one that's pretty long here this guy this one's still pretty thin and long but he's still like thick enough but this is probably my longest lock that i have uh i think What's, no i think it's the one i was just holding <laughs> Yeah, I think this is the longest one. Let's see. And I do, I did count them, and I do have 64 in total. Um, I'm thinking there's some that are kind of thick up here that I was thinking that I might end up separating. But that's not like a done deal or anything. I probably won't end up doing it just because problem with them. I like the thick ones, I like the thin ones. I like having a variety and seeing all the differences in them. So that's it. My one-year-old locks. Loving them, watching them, seeing them flow through their journey. It's been cool and I can't see what this next year will bring for them. And once I go ahead and decide to decorate them, I will definitely go ahead and do another video. Because I'm sure they're gonna look so fucking awesome once I do that. 